both the IOD on, and O-Uranus are equivalent to the Sun. The term O-Uranus, related properly to the orb of the Sun, but was in after times made to comprehend the whole expanse of the heavens. Uranus, the beginner of the Greek mythology, according to Hesiod, was the good rainer, as his name shows, from the two Greek words, Eureino, and his month was under the sign of Aquarius, the water bearer with Janus, January. Both of these were sun gods. The sun god is the cause of rain. He is the author of light and heat. The sun, sun god, or god of heaven, seems thus to be god of the waters, of fire, and light. Compounds of as, ah, and on, names of the sun, ah, and on, give Uranus or O Uranus heaven, or Saturn, which is Seth Uranus, the El Shaddai, Sadi, Set, or Seth of Genesis, Sethos, a king of Egypt, Sol Urnum, now Sol Urno, is Sol Uranus. The Greek O Uranus, god of heaven, Saturn, is a compound of Ah, the sun, Aries, Er, or, O Er, Euro to burn, and On, Ani, the sun, Kephalos, Procris, Hermes, Daphne, Zeus, O Uranus, stand forth as simple names for the sun, the dew, the wind, the heaven and the sky, each recognized as such. O Uranus represents the father in the sky, the sun that impregnated Mother Earth. Bel, the chief god of the Babylonians, was also the sun. Bel, Bel, Belus, the sun or lord of the heavens almost assimilates in character and attributes with Kronos, O Uranus, Moloch. The pleased reader will also observe that the phallus of O Uranus is the sun, that Kronos is the sun, that Kronos mutilating O Uranus is the sun, just as the sun is the mutilated part of O Uranus. But Saturn, as his name imports, is a type, either of ether itself, or the ethereal fires, as the sun, moon, and stars, and differs not essentially from the Greek, O Uranus, which is literally the heavens. Saturn whom they also call Sun. The word Saturn, also is as much, or more applicable to the Sun Saturn than to the planet Saturn. The Sun is the father of Osiris. Sab or Seb, was the name of the Egyptian Saturn, Sun, the father of Osiris and Isis. Like all the gods, Osiris is the Sun, the Sun, Bel, Ammon, Keb, Seb, is both Saturn, Kronos, Typhon and Sol. Amun Kep is consequently the concealed light under the earth. The fabulous story, likewise, of Saturn's devouring his own children does not seem very applicable to the planet Saturn, whose mal-influence is not so destructive to the things on this globe as to ground on it such a fiction, nor can they be called, with any propriety, his children. But it is literally true of the sun, which, by its intense heat, destroys those very things its genial warmth gave birth to, whence children might be made to pass through the fire to Moloch, Saturn, or the sun, as proper sacrifices to this parent of heat and fire, the nourisher and destroyer of everything. Brocklus B likewise acknowledges that by Saturn it may be understood the sun. Besides, it is reasonable to suppose, that by Saturn, in the pagan theology, we are to understand the sun. Their principal god was Bel, Belsamon, or the Bright One, considered by the Greeks as identical with Kronos or Saturn, and who in process of time became in some features assimilated to Apollo. He was evidently the fire god or sun god. If we diligently observe histories, we shall find such a confusion of the planets, that the sun, as it was sometimes called Bal, sometimes Moloch, so it was sometimes called Jupiter, sometimes Saturn, and concerning Baal this is evident. Concerning Saturn, it is apparent that the sun was worshipped under his name. To speak strictly, the Egyptians and Hebrews observed their deity in the sun, 
But the Old Testament is far richer in passages showing Yahoo to be Saturn. Yah and Yaho are originally one and the same being. The ideas connected with them are the same. Yah is shortened from Yaho and is the sun. Adonis is Bel Saturn, the sun god who descends to Hades. Damasius states, the Phoenicians and Syrians name Cronus El, and Bel, as a matter of fact, El, Lycon, was an appellation of the sun god. As Cronos, he was also the sun himself, the prime fountain of light and heat, which his name immediately implies, Cronos meaning nothing more than irradiation, or ethereal fire. According to the systems of most of the ancient, as well as most of the modern philosophers, the corruption or destruction of one thing is but the generation of another, and the heat of the sun destroys what its heat has also brought to perfection. The great luminary and original fountain of all things, was hence allegorically represented as devouring his own offspring. Kronos the beaming sun, Krona, a sunbeam in Phoenician, Kuran, in Hebrew to shine, Karnon, in Arabic, a sunbeam. Lastly, the star of the implacable Ninip, a solar hero who belongs to the darkness and not to the light, became the star of the deposed and fallen sun god Kronos. Kronos whom the Phoenicians surname El, a ruler of the land and later translated after his death as God into the star of Kronos, Saturn. Planet Saturn, so named from, the he then Saturn. Saturn, whom the Phoenicians call Israel, reigning over the regions and at his death consecrated in the planet Saturn. For we are told, that Jupiter or the Archite deity, at length, overcame Saturn, or the Solar deity, and banished him from heaven, affording a type of the triumph of the Archite worship, or the religion of Isis and Osiris in Egypt, from which country, there can be no doubt that the Helladians, derived the whole of this story. Jupiter, king of the gods, was also called Despita, that is Day Father, father of days. The ancients gave the name Despiter to Jupiter. Dees, a day. From Zeus, of Jove, the author of light and the father of day, whence he is called Despater, Despiter. The word Jupiter is simply Yao or Ju, with the affix of Peter, father. Yao is the mystical name of the sun god. Ecclesiastical writers translate Jar, into Yao. Amongst the Greeks we find the name Yao, which corresponds to the Jew, in Jupiter. But, this the case, it appears further that the Phoenicians, Jao was the Greek expression for the mysterious name their great deity, the Sun, regarded the source of all light and life. Jupiter again to be the son of Cronus, while yet Brahm, and the great Dryad, Osiris and Horus, Phthar and Helios, Apollo and Esculapius, Cronus and Jupiter, were all equally and severally the solar orb. Jupiter was worshipped under many names of which only a few have as yet been interpreted. One whose etymology seems fairly clear was Cerninus, or in Gaulish Cernonos, meaning horny or the horn god. On an altar found in Paris we have underneath the name Cernanos a bearded figure with the horns of a stag. The horn of course was a solar emblem, symbolical of rays, and many horned images, and images accompanied by horn emblems have been found on Gaulish soil. But the wheel as the instrument of rotation and motion was also a well-known solar emblem, and therefore Cernanos ought probably to be identified with the nameless wheel god of the Gaulish monuments, corresponding to the original acceptation of Jupiter as Despiter, the Sanskrit Dishpiter, the god of light. Jupiter not only represented heaven, but also the sun. Jupiter is accounted the sun, likewise, it is to be noticed that Orpheus, or the author of the Orphic poems, considers that Jupiter or Zeus, was the same as the sun, or Helios. And, according to Macrobius, Jupiter was identical with Sol, or the sun, 
and that Sol, under the name of Jupiter, was the god whom the Syrians worshipped in Heliopolis. Jupiter and the Sun were the same deities, consequently, Jupiter and Apollo were identical, and both were the same with Phoebus, Sol, or Helios. O thou who, whirlest the radiant globe, rolling on golden wheels, through the spacious vortex of heaven, glorious Jupiter, thou Sun, who art the genial parent of nature, Dionysius, father of sea and land, The sun wheel, as a solid disk with axis. This is the form still used to signify the sun in astronomy, as it was by the ancient astrologers. This is an altar, in honor of Jupiter, depicting a sun wheel. Sir Alexander Cunningham, says that the wheel was one of the most common and obvious emblems of the sun. Ceta, is the Anglo-Saxon equivalent of Saturn. Here is an image of Ceta, holding the sun wheel. The sun wheel, along with the thunderbolt as the symbol of Jupiter, that is to say, the old Gaulish solar god Taranis, is identified with the Roman deity Jupiter. O Uranus, Saturn, and Jupiter, all, hold the sun wheel.